This is the Waco CFX3 55IM fridge freezer. It's ideal for uh, large groups or extended tourings and it comes with an ice maker. So let's check it out. Get it. Hi, welcome to Snowies. I'm Kevin and I'm going to talk to you today about the CFX 553IM fridge freezer from Dometic. IM stands for ice maker. And just looking inside the fridge here, you can see the difference. There's a little compartment here. So if I open it up, there's a couple of ice trays in here. We put these in about two and a half hours ago. You can see they're nice and frozen already. There's actually an element that is underneath that tray, which is controlled separately from your control panel up on the end of the panel. So while we've got the lid open, let's have a quick look inside. The basket can be removed for ease of cleaning. And if you want to, you can easily take out the other ice tray and you can remove that whole compartment altogether. Now while that's out, you can see we've got an element going all the way around. Remember I said before, there's an element underneath that. You can see some ice forming where the ice maker has been. In the bottom here, you've got a little bung that you can take out ease of cleaning. And of course, you've got an LED light here. And then the walls, of course, you've got CV CFC free polyurethane insulation. Okay, now let's pop this back in again. Incidentally, there's a little divider here that you can separate your food in the basket. And we just pop the ice maker trays back in again. That goes straight into there down, open it up. And of course these trays are a silicon tray, so you can see I can take it off and it's very easy to break it and get the ice cubes out. Very easy indeed. So I'll pop these back in again. Now the fridge will hold 83 cans of drink, as well as a decent size height bottle. That's a 1.25 litre Coke, and this is a bottle of some champers. And you can see it fits easily. Now before I shut the lid down, I just want to show you how easy it is to remove for cleaning. Just got to bend the fridge lid back over there. You've got two stainless steel hinges on either end and stainless steel pins for the fridge to sit on. Putting it back on is quite easy. You slot the fridge lid straight over the pins. A bit of a bump on for that side, a bit of a bump on for that side, and you shut the lid down and you're ready to go. So outside we have an exo frame of polypropylene where you have got cast aluminium handles, which are very strong spring loaded, ideal for towing it down. At the back of the fridge, we've got stainless steel hinges. And the dimensions of this fridge is that it's 72 centimeters long. We've got a width of 45.5 centimeters and we've got overall height this way of 48 centimeters high. And the fridge comes in about 21.3 kilos in weight. So let's have a look down here at this end. In here, you've got a Dometic compressor. It has a current draw of approximately 1.2 amps per hour with a maximum current draw of 8.9. A couple of plugs here, one for mains power, one's for 12 volt. The 12 volt plug goes in very simply, just open up the flap, and pop the plug in that way. And of course the mains power goes in pretty much the same way, just across on the other side goes in like that. Of course on the 12 volt plug, you also have a little fuse in here of 10 amps, so you happen to blow a fuse, it's very easy to unscrew the end, change the fuse, and you're ready to go again. Okay, so let's now have a look at the other end of the fridge where the control panel is. You can see it's currently set to six degrees. You can change that quite easily. Push the button there, you see it says set temperature. Push it again, and you can actually go down temperature or up, depending which way you want to go. It'll operate between 10 degrees and minus 22. Once you've got it set to whatever temperature you want, hit OK again. It'll flash a couple of times and go back to the main um, menu. We have a couple of other things here. Battery protection, which I'll talk about shortly. You've got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which mean you can operate the fridge with your phone from a free app you can download. And then you also have your display light. You have temperature settings of either Celsius or Fahrenheit. And of course, you have the ice maker. Now, ice maker is quite easy to operate. Hit the button, you either turn it on or off, one of the two. Hit OK again, and that's what you've got, which means the ice maker will no longer make ice. You want it to go back the other way, back up to on, hit it again, and away you go. Push the start button again, and you're back to the temperature rating. Also, just here, you've got a little USB port, so you can actually charge your phone or, or whatever while you're running, and this is rated to two amps. So on this fridge, it has battery protection. Very easy to operate. You've got three settings on here, high, medium, and low. You set it at high, at medium or low, just by moving it up and down, and hit the OK button, and you go back to whatever you've got it set to. Now, just a quick explanation of battery protection. Those three settings indicate low for low protection, which means the battery will run down a lot lower and the fridge will cut out at a lower voltage. High, it means a higher protection, which means it'll run to a much higher voltage and cut itself out 
ideal for perhaps the uh, starter motor of your car, for example. Medium, well, that's in between the two, obviously. It depends on the size of the battery and how much capacity it has and what condition it's in. So that's all I can tell you now about the CFX3 55 litre IM fridge freezer. If you want any more information on this fridge, go to our website at snowies.com.au where we have lowest prices every day. So we're going to see some more of this, subscribe up here. If you have any questions, leave a comment down here. If you want to check out any more videos, have a look over here.